now boxing and in America they're calling it the fight of the year. Nottingham's Carl Froch versus Californian Andre Ward on Saturday night. It's taken Froch years to get the recognition he deserves and our sports editor Mark Shardlow has been with him for the journey. Here's Mark's report from New York on the making of a champion. We're just two days away from the fight, two days away from the latest chapter in the remarkable story of a young Nottingham man who used to watch boxing movies with his mum as a kid. It's a small step away from Carl Froch's fairy tale here in New York. in the boxing gym, the amateur gym, when I was nine years old. I think he had got a natural talent. 25 years ago, this is where Carl first boxed, and the club's still going strong. He believed in himself a lot, and nobody could beat him, and he was that, he was that way inclined. He'd get his homework done, and he'd be straight there. He was soon winning schoolboy fights and catching the eye. Well, he was inspired by watching the Rocky movies, because I used to love watching Sylvester Stallone and the Rocky movies. I had my first amateur fight when I was 11 years old against local Jason Booth. As a schoolboy, I followed him all around. Never even in my wildest dreams thought he would be champion of the world, but he always kept winning. After a four year break from the sport, the award winning schoolboy became amateur champion. Ten years ago, he turned professional and won the British title before winning and retaining the world crown. You always believe your child's special and no, I did never thought in my wildest dreams that my son would grow up and be champion of the world. But a win over Ward on Saturday would top everything. It is a fairy tale. It, fairy tale come true for Carl. Now all I'm doing is securing my legacy and, and letting my name reign on for years and years to come. At the end of the day, whatever he does now, um, we're so proud of him. Carl Froch, what a fighter from Nottingham. He, you know, he's done himself, his family and his city proud. And the bells are ringing out. And we'll find out if the fairy tale comes true in the early hours of Sunday morning. The fight is two hours down the road in Atlantic City, and I'll be reporting from there on tomorrow night's East Midlands Today. So you proof that mothers really do know best. <laughs> always, Angela. Can't always. Argue with that, can you? Well, Nobody I know believes it. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed.